Yeah, um, welcome to sharing my thoughts once again. I just said I should use this to pass on, you know, pass time because I'm waiting for my spouse, my wife. We're going for a wedding and, um, you know, see woman, when they need to talk, now they come out, you have to be patient with them. And I just thought about it. Some of my friends, some of my colleagues, you know, they, they, they are divorced and I started the reason which didn't make them divorced. There was a time they were saying that, oh, this person is the love of my life. This person <clears throat> is, uh, without this person, I don't think I can go um, on with life. But right now, they are now divorced. But which didn't they make them divorced? Some people will say, well, we are not compatible anymore. We just found out that we're not compatible. Some will say that uh, we are having irreconcilable difference, you know. Some will say they are not suited for one another. But the truth is, those days, this was the person that you said is the love of your life. And the person, without this person, you cannot tell. Uh, we cannot go um, further. We just, is just the right person. But right now, we are ending up in divorce. Some will say they are not divorced. Some will say they are separated. Some will say they are, you know, just co beating you know. But the thing is, we understand this kind of thing. Even though you are staying together with your spouse in the same house, and there's there's not no peace for the house, then somehow somehow we talk to me and I don't think divorce will start because you know there's already a friction between you and your spouse. But what is making people go on this divorce route? It can be abuse, emotional, psychological, you know, physical abuse. It can be ego. Money can make you know families want to go separate ways because they don't look and say, man, um, you are not bringing, you are not trying to. You know take care of our needs because some people say ah is it, money is not everything but sometimes too money can you know helps in binding the family it help put the family together also too it can be addiction maybe i drink too much maybe i smoke too much maybe i'm always keeping late nights and my spouse has been you nodding know, complain every time say man this your late night is something that um, i'm finding difficult to cope with so all these things can be issued also too if you be <clears throat> um say i I'm just tired of my spouse. I don't tire for the relationship. I don't tire for the marriage. Not because my spouse has done something wrong to me, but because I am just tired. Because of that girl outside. Because of that uh, man outside. You know, we just want to come up for the marriage. We just want to jettison the marriage. But the thing is, I'm not here to tell us to stay in the marriage. I'm not telling us to leave the marriage. But I want to ask us something. We should ask ourselves four questions. Four things I think we should ask ourselves before we take this divorce route. The first thing I will say here is that do we really need the marriage? Do we really need the relationship? Do we really need the family together? I think if we really need it, if it's really important for us, we will do everything possible to make sure that the marriage works. We will do everything possible to make sure that uh, things go well. You know, sometimes we find excuse. Sometimes we just want to find fault for our spouse. We just want to say, oh, our spouse did this, our spouse did that. Fine, they did those things, but in our heart, we know that we can really forgive that person. It's just because of the babe outside, because of the girl outside, the woman outside, or the man outside. That's why we are looking, you know, we will just want to um, do away with our present marriage. But we shouldn't forget something. This current marriage will be get now. One time it was rosy, one time it was beautiful. There was a time it was all we just wanted. And now we are living it. If we get to that new marriage, if we get to that new relationship, the same thing is going to happen. Because in every marriage, in every relationship, there's always issues. Issues will always come. And how we take to resolve that issue in the Second question I think we need to ask ourselves is that are we really responsible for what they happen? Do we play a role in what is really um, going on in the marriage? Are we, are, we, are we a part and parcel of the problem? If we are a part and parcel of the problem, have we tried to make sure that we try to resolve the issue? We don't try to see our spouse friend. You know, sometimes our spouse friends can talk to our spouse, you know, to see reasons why they just need to forgive us. Fine, we don't do something wrong. We've done something very, very horrible. But we can go and see our spouse's friend, their you know, in-laws and stuff like that, that they can help to make sure that you know things go well things go um in the right direction at least they forgive us and for um forget it's not easy to forget though but then number three thing i would say here is that how much are we invested in the marriage how how much are we invested in the relationship if we've invested so much in that marriage we've invested so much in the relationship in terms of time in terms of finance in terms of resources whatever we can say we have invested i don't think we will allow that marriage that relationship just go like that we should also know that it is important we factor in our children our children are the ones that really hit by you know this divorce many times we're not even them we just go oh, it's me but sometimes we should think about our children 
there was a study that was conducted recently and it states that 65 percent of children from the host home perform poorly academically and we don't want to make this kind of thing affect our children we don't want this kind of thing to have an impact on our children because we just want to divorce then our children are not performing poorly academically well i'm not going to say you should stay in that marriage i'm not going to say you should uh, leave that marriage but the thing here is that you are the one that's in the marriage you understand how it pinches you understand what's really going on in the marriage you know how much you must have invested in that marriage you understand it better so now you will know within you know um, what decision you want to take but i'll say something here we'll not say because we are considering our children we'll not say because we've invested so much in the marriage we'll not say because um, uh, we don't want our marriage to break up they will end up um, dying in a marriage if your spouse if our spouse like for me if my spouse have you know had like three four different attempts you know in trying to take my life then i don't think i need to be in that marriage you know, these are one of the things that i would say well for me i think i need to go the divorce route but i think you understand it better god did not make a mistake whereby he said let the man and the woman come together to bring up children i believe the man is the hard side the woman is the soft side so when both of them come together you know it gives a blend a total blend you know the child have a total, do have a total blend of the um, soft and the hard side in, the, in life generally if you understand my thing the thing here is that if you have your own thoughts you have your own suggestion as regards um, this divorce thing i think you can always drop your comments in the comment section i always want to hear from you my own thoughts my own suggestions are not uh, casting stone you can see that i'm still waiting for my wife and i've just got something about uh, seven minutes there about but the thing is what it is now we just have to have patience we did the marriage and Forge ahead as it goes. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe.